After making games for years on dreams, getting suspended, rebranding. Next time, baby. Are you here? Look, it's me. I'm here. Deal with it. Let's move on. We finally end up here. Unreal Engine 5. Seen as the premier game engine for up and coming game devs. This engine offers a vast array of tools for creators. But with me having zero experience with C++ coding, nor blueprints, I have a long way to go. I don't even know how to move. Also, spending money on programming courses is not an option. YouTube tutorials it is. For my first project, I want to make something dirt simple. A simple environment you can walk through. But in order to do that, we're gonna need a character model. Unreal Engine actually sets you up with a few stock assets when creating levels. One of them being a first person character. At first I thought this would be a perfect solution. And I'd be able to just go in and start doing level design. But... That's when I ran into my first problem. Even though my character was invisible, he was too thick to squeeze through the doorways. And I have no idea how to edit my character's hitbox. Not until I found this channel. This channel saved me from the pit of despair. I thought I was going to have to strap into another multi-part 7 hour tutorial series explaining all the fundamentals. But this channel seemed to be perfectly crafted for my needs. Not only did this video explain how to fix my hitbox size, but that was practically the first thing he did. The rest of the video showed me how to set up fundamentals for my first person rig. Stuff like a sprint function, and how to smoothen camera turns. Now all this might as well be a foreign language to me. I don't know what all this stuff is doing, but I don't need to. When I started developing on Dreams, I didn't understand the logic on there either. But over time, I went from this to this. I understood some of the logic, and was even able to make adjustments that differed from the tutorial. This channel's tutorials would be what I focused on for my first few days on Unreal Engine. On day two, I learned how to add a flashlight, how to import sounds into the game, and how to add a body cam effect. This really took my character to the next level, and it felt amazing to just walk around with the new effect. It helped me start materializing what I wanted my first project to be. And with my new body cam effect, I felt satisfied on day two and finally got some sleep. On day three, I locked in. I added a head bob to my idle, walk, and sprint animations. I added an automatic depth of field effect, dirt on the lens, and a VHS effect. I was blown away at this point. Even though I was still just in the template area, this character model was already so much better than my previous character models on previous engines. But we're not done yet. For day 4, I added the footsteps to my character model. The sounds were... less than desirable. I'll definitely have to find a better source for sound effects than freesound.org. But these still worked, and I even figured out how to make small adjustments all by myself. I was flying high, until I hit a brick wall. Day 5. I thought I would have finished my character model. All I had to do was find a cool overlay and add crouch. I loaded up their advanced crouch tutorial. I copied every bit of logic. I watched the video in 0.75 speed. I paused the video and made sure mine lined up perfectly with his. And for some reason, I was able to uncrouch under objects and no clip into them. This absolutely stumped me. I tried messing around with certain basic components, but nothing worked. I rewatched the video from start to finish like three or four times, and something just wasn't working. I sunk hours into trying to find a solution, and was left with even more confusion. I gave the video one more try, and... It didn't work. But I was determined to get this solved. I'll rebuild the whole movement system if I have to. So I searched up another tutorial. I found this one by Pixel Perfect. I skimmed through their tutorial and checked if the logic was compatible with what I already had. And even though they were using the IA movement system, it still looked relatively similar. I knew the main issue I was having was something with my check crouch function. So I figured I would see what they did different. This time he made 
manually set the values in the add operators, which connected to the sphere trace by channel. I was essentially Frankensteining the logic from these two tutorials. And this time when I loaded up the viewport, it worked. I felt so relieved and knew the hard part was over. I added the overlay for my camera and finally finished my character model. Sure, it wasn't perfect. I'm not happy with the footsteps and would like to improve some of the post-processing effects. But those are all improvements we can make down the road. We have a functional character model. Let's give them a place to explore. Day 7 was it. Let's make an environment. I went to the modeling mode, went into the cube grid, and started making a couple of rooms. I was curious how easy it would be to make a pool rooms environment, so I blocked out a pool and put some holes in the ceiling for some natural light. While this looked good, I still wasn't happy with it, and instead settled on a wood texture, giving the environment a cabin or sauna feel. These textures were just the standard textures that Unreal Engine provides you. But next week we can start focusing on modeling out assets and importing better textures on them. Then we'll be able to give this environment more detail. One of the next things I'd be interested in learning is setting up audio for the atmosphere. I mean, the level looks great, we just need some sounds to go with it. I'll also have to learn how to optimize my level. That way we can get this game running smooth even with bigger maps. But we'll take this in baby steps. I have a long way to go, but this is just the start. I mean, at the beginning of the week, I was too thick to get through doorways, feeling like I could never understand how to make a game. Now I can easily slip through the doorways, crouch through a hole, and even run away from something. I just had to be patient and learn one thing at a time. I hope you enjoyed this. I'll be making more updates in the future, so do comment down below if you have any comments, questions, or critiques. I loved hearing from you guys in the last video, and I know you guys have some amazing suggestions to give. And if you're interested in watching me build these levels live, I will be streaming the process on Twitch. Just follow my channel, The Thura Games, and you'll get notified when I go live. But that's enough for me, I'll see you guys on the next Unreal Update.